Hey amazing hackers, I'm Todd Hat from HM Cyber Academy. Today we're going to start a new series called Access Control Vulnerabilities. By the end of this series, you will learn access control vulnerabilities or you will die trying. So let's get started. So here, first two labs are part of website reconnaissance, which means there's not much hacking over here, just browsing through the website and trying to find some endpoints which will give you additional privileges. So here there is an unprotected admin functionality. So let's see what it is. Okay, unprotected admin functionality. This lab has an unprotected admin panel. Solve this lab by deleting the user Carlos. So let's access the lab. Lab is a part of website reconnaissance. For this lab, you need to ask the question, what is Google hiding from me about this website? To know that, we generally look for a file called robots.txt. So robots.txt is a very common file every mid-range website definitely has it okay so this file is mainly used to tell web crawlers like google ping etc it tells them what to index and what not to index in google search results let's take google for example let me say site colon amazon.com so when i say this it will give all the results that contains the website amazon.com as you can see, all the results that are listed over here, which are called indexing, are from Amazon.com. So does this website contain robots.txt? I'm going to check this site for robots.txt. I'll go to the new tab, paste Amazon.com slash robots.txt. So I can see so many things that it's saying user agent can be anything. By user agent, it can mean Firefox or Burp Suit or any other agent that sends the request and disallow the following things so disallow means do not show this thing in google search results so similarly there are other websites for example flipcart.com slash robots.txt and let's also check couple more like google.com does it have robots.txt yeah definitely it has and as you can see this one has a different types of things that are listed over here so here there is disallow and there is allow as well which means you can allow this to list in the google search results but do not show these things in google search results so let's check one more thing so wikipedia.org slash robots.txt so here we have robots file for wikipedia so let's take one example let's take this for example Okay, so it is disallowed in Google search results and this is the website that it is listing, right? So what I'm going to tell is I'm going to copy the website and say cite this. If I say this, it is going to show so many results. And here I will add something like in URL. I want to show this. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. So it looks something like this. So if I hit enter. Does it show the results? No, right? Because this robots.txt file instructed this Google search engine not to list this URL. But does this URL really exist? So to find out what we can do is this website right here followed by this URL. So if I hit enter, as you can see, this URL exists, but it is not shown in Google search results. So this robots.txt is a part of website reconnaissance that we are looking for something which is hidden in Google, but we can directly show it by seeing robots.txt file. So here we are going to apply the same thing in the website. So we can say forward slash robots.txt. And as you can see, one thing has been disallowed. So that is the administrator panel. So what do we do with this? We copy this, we go to the main website and we say forward slash administrator panel, right? So if you hit enter, it bypasses all authentication and directly goes to admin panel, right? So here you can delete Carlos user and that should solve the lab. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.